You want to know how I return 70% on free money on Facebook Marketplace? You want to know? Stay tuned, watch the whole video, and find out. All right, guys, I just took this wheel off. Probably took me maybe two minutes and the tire. Small little air leak right here. I'm about to change this out. It's kind of weird because it got an air leak on the part. I'm supposed to get an air leak. All right, once you get your stuff cleaned up and ready to go, start taking pictures of the products. You want to take at least five pictures. You want to have uh, a picture of showing the whole product, the size of the product. And one step I do to lure in more customers who won't fight over the price, I go to a retailer like Walmart, Target, uh, Amazon, and I do a screenshot of the actual product and put that in my prescription on Facebook Marketplace. So the customer can see how much money they saving. And that's how usually my stuff go quicker. Also, to save time, instead of writing the description in Facebook Marketplace, I just copy and paste the description in the Walmart ad, the Target ad, the Amazon ad, and put that directly in the Facebook Marketplace. It takes like a, less than a minute. This those two bikes I had listing. Uh, I did it last yesterday evening around uh, 5.30 and by seven o'clock between seven and eight o'clock i had 16 or 13 messages people wanted to buy them that quick but here's another rule when you go to exchange for uh your product number one always pick a location that is in an open area and very close to your house the reason you want very close to your house you pay less gas the reason you want an open area and a populated area because it's more safety rule number Rule number two, do not never do no exchanges at night. If it's dark outside, no exchanges. Always do exchanges in daylight. Rule number three, only sell to people that has a real Facebook profile. I'm not talking about this one picture. Only sell to people that have multiple pictures. You can tell they talk to family members on Facebook. You can tell they interact with other people on Facebook. That's number three. Uh, number four, uh, once you set up the deal, before you leave your house, an hour before the meetup time, message those buyers to make sure they're still on their way. You don't want to get set up and lose money and gas and time waiting on for somebody. Because I just messaged the young lady today about this. Buy Probably about an hour or something to go. She said she'll be there. And uh, I pulled up. I mentioned, I say, hey, I'm here. She says she's on the way. So most likely that person is not playing no games. I'm going to make some money off of that. That person going to make some money. I got this bike for free. I'm going to sell it for $25. Uh, I posted it on Facebook uh, for $25. Also, I post the brand new price at Walmart. It costs $58. So it's a win-win situation, man. It's a win-win situation. So make sure you pick a place that's close to your house, very short distance. Maybe take you less than five, three minutes to get there. Never, especially if you've got ladies at the house, never meet nobody at your house. You don't sell where you live at because they may come back with some crazy things. You know, we, we, get th we got things in every room ready to go. Uh, so safe place, light. Here's another thing. If I do like last year, I sold my Yeti Cuda for $275 for big purchase items, I keep some protection. I ain't gonna tell you what, but I keep some protection in case somebody wanna act a little crazy and you know, but everything I sell is good. Everything uh, I tested out, I sold maybe over 50, 60, a lot of things on Facebook. Never had a return yet because I only sell good stuff. So let's see if this lady shows up. She says she's on the way. She told me 320 is now 318, but I'm early bird. So I'm just going to sit here and read my book. Look at this. I don't want to do a plug, but boom. I can read my book. Richest Man in Babylon. Some good stuff. So guys, y'all take it easy. Be safe. And um, see the person in the back? I had that other bike sold today, but that person acting a little crazy. You know, I treat, 
I learned not to hold up for somebody. If I want that money in my hand, one in the hand better, two in the bush. So while I'm sitting here, I'm reaching out to other people who wanted that bike in the back. CK didn't meet me up around the same time today. All right, talk to you later. All right, Facebook family. I just sold the little girl's bike. Uh, the customer was on time. She was maybe three minutes late from a stated time that she stated yesterday. So everything worked out good. I got paid. Let me show you the money. That's $25. $25. Now, I'm going to tell you what I do with this money. It's a concept. You know, people may say nickels and dimes don't add up to make a lot, but they do add up. Every, the money I make on Facebook does two things for me. I tie 10% and I put the 90% of that directly in the start market. The start market returns the last couple of years, 15, 20, 30%. So that $25, that that $25, or just say $20 after ties and everything, that $20 is making $6 a year for me. So $20 this year be $26 next year. And so on for so on. So those nickel dimes do add up to create real time wealth and real time money. But you just have to be consistent when you do it and you have to do it on a periodic basis. Keep on going. It don't make no difference how much, how little, long as you do it something and build a routine. That's why I do this Facebook stuff. Like, you won't believe this. From one account I had, I, I capped it off at, okay, I ain't gonna talk about my money. All right, guys, y'all take it easy, y'all be safe. Also, here's, a, here's another tip. When you have you do have to multitask. Every time I move my car, I don't move my car for no reason. I move it for a certain thing. And remember, I said I always pick a place you live close by. Look in front of me. There's a grocery store, liquor store over there, and a dry cleaner in the middle. So what I'm about to do, check it out. Ah. What I'm about to do is this. Boom. About to drop off my suit to get dry clean, baby. Keep you, guys, keep on hustling. Keep doing your thing. Do what you got to do to make life better. You know what I'm talking about? Have a good one. All right, I'm about to sell the last bike back here for $25. So, last two days, if I sell this one, I made $50 off some trash. I saw on the side of the road. So, you gotta get your stuff up. Remember, follow the rules. Pick a location. Safe. Uh, make sure to have a Facebook page. Safe. Make sure you do it at daytime. Safe. Make sure... Uh, what else I said? Close to uh, your spot. Safe. Make sure you message them before you leave your house. Just to... Giving them an update, safe. So just follow these smokes, uh, little simple rules, man. You make a little extra money every damn year. I do this in my spare time. Um, when I see stuff on the side of the road, I'm not looking for it. I just have to come up on it and I know what it is and I take it.